abilities to intercede. IUT is not looking for your sympathy, just untainted soil to plant her seed. And her womb is a poem just waiting to be conceived. Yet, mute for so long, Haiti releases her frustration in a song. She moans and she groans. She cracks open her mouth and she lets out a shout. Her voice releases what sounds like a thousand baritones. She sinks through weights that causes the earth to shake. And so the nations tremble and she demands their attention. She shifts the hearts of her descendants and she convicts the whole black nation. How dare you forgive me after I've given you liberation? Captivated by death, she seeks to resurrect and in hopes of starting a movement, she stimulates the mind and paralyzes the flesh. She forces the world to stop and reflect a powerful country and yet even she is under authority. Her pride transforms to humility. She bows before the majesty. The author and the finisher of her fate has written a climax and the world stands watch as his spirit moves through acts of compassion. They gaze as she transfigures through phases. This is a divine transportation to her divine destiny. The world freezes as they witness her story unfold. Forced to self-educate on stories never told. Death aired on national TV. Everyday people become celebrities. Still clips of an ongoing misery. Frozen images transmit a wave of emotions. Do you feel the shock? Voices of the unknown penetrate the soul. The corpse of a thousand nameless those lay in coffins once known as their homes. I said, do you her children who pretend to be from another mother? Haiti searches for her descendants who once rejected their inheritance. And so souls once sold now return to their mother. IET Shelly, your riches lay buried in poverty, but who will search deep enough to come across this discovery? And in the midst of a people whose remains are forced to remain in a horizontal position, who will stand upright and fight? And I can't help but to think, was there an Abraham with which God shared his plan? And was there a Moses to oppose an end? Was there a Jonah who was given a word yet refused to deliver an Was there a lot who caused God's work to stop temporarily? Haiti still stands unlike Saddam and Gomorrah. Restoration cometh tomorrow. No more sorrow. Like the stripes on Jesus' back, your cuts and bruises will mend. Your persecution will end. Like Abel, the voice of Haiti's blood cries out, but I declare that your requests will not be denied. There were those who were saved for his name's sake, and there were those who died, yet I refuse to blame God and pretend to know why. This is far from being just a Haitian devastation. This affects the whole nation, much like the universal revolution. And this is, though this is reality and not a performance, I.E.T. Shelley, you are long overdue a standing ovation.